video tours the home that's for sale at 1615 Russell Avenue in Galesburg, Illinois. Looking at the front of the home right now, I'm going to show you the outside and then we'll go take a look at the inside of the home. So that's the front view of the home. This is on a corner lot on Russell and Lane Avenue. Looking down the street on Russell, across the street, neighbors. And the road, like I said, we're on a corner lot. It tees in on Lane. It does have a side entrance to the detached garage. The roof looks like it's in pretty new condition. The siding on the front is vinyl. The rest is an older aluminum and some masonite that's going to need some work, as you'll see here in a second. I'm walking up the side now. You can kind of see all that chipping up there. That's masonite that's rotted. This is like an aluminum that's been painted a couple times. It does need some landscaping. The detached garage. The driveway was gravel. It's pretty much overgrown now. Now this is an early look video. There is going to be debris, personal belongings in the house. Um, it could be sold that way. Check back and see if there's a new updated video. I will show you this on the garage. You do have some rotten wood there. But the foundation for the garage looks like it's split right there and sags now. So it's split down the middle it looks like and a sag down. So let's go in the backyard here. So it is window air conditioning. It does have a newer furnace. You'll see that when we go inside. A lot of the windows are this older um, window that they've put a kind of a storm window over. There are a few newer replacement vinyl. Nice backyard is fully fenced in. You'll see here, here's a couple of the replacement ones. Walk around to the other side of the yard. So it's got a nice privacy fence around it. Bushes could use some work. The other angle, show you the back. On the back of the garage, it's got a cute little covered porch. Go peek in the garage real quick. Like I said, some of the stuff could still be here when you purchase it. Check with my office to see if the debris has been removed. Nice two car garage though. There's that crack I was talking about and it's a pretty good crack. And they've done just like a little cover there to keep the light out of there. Do have some light showing there so the soffit's bad on that side at the top. And the crack goes about a little over halfway and then it actually tees across this direction as well. So it's a garage though. Alright, let's go inside and take a look. So we're going in the back door. The access, if you're a realtor and you're showing this home, this is where the access will be also. There's a key box on this back door that I've opened. I'll show you that in a second. It'll be right there with the locks. So we've walked into what is a laundry room. I'm going to move forward here. And there is the furnace. As I said, it looks newer. Hot water heater. So it's a three bedroom, one bath home. It could be a four bedroom. There's a family room off this Eden area that you're going to see in a second. So vinyl flooring in here. The kitchen's missing all of its appliances. The home is heavily smoked in. I will say that the walls are yellowed. So now there is a crack running down. So I don't know if there's maybe some slab issues. This home is on a slab doesn't feel like it. I'm not a home inspector though, just showing you and pointing out things that I notice. So you will, like I said, need appliances. Got refrigerator, goes there with the water line. Gas stove. Looks like there might be an electrical hookup, not 100% sure. A vent. Then you've got an eat-in area over here, as you can kind of see. The electrical box is here. And this is the room that I was saying could be a fourth bedroom if you wanted. You'd have to put in a closet. But a uh, nice little family room otherwise. Paneling in here. It's just a drop acoustical ceiling. You know, looking at some of the neighboring houses, this could have easily been a garage possibly at one time. Not sure. Alright, so we're going back out in that eat-in area where we were. There's the look at that ceiling crack. Kind of some of the smoke on the walls you can see. 
Carpeting needs replaced in every room. Little pantry here, it's missing the doors though. So we're working our way into the living room. There is a fireplace, that's what that little jet out in that family room was. Got that fireplace right here. Decent sized living room. Again, flooring's gonna need replaced throughout in here. I'm gonna go give you another angle of the living room, fireplace and stuff. That front window is original and older. All right, we're gonna make our way down the hallway. Just give you a look at that flooring. You do have a little closet here. Doors are in pretty bad shape on that. That's just a cold air return on that furnace area. So this is the only bathroom you can actually access it through the laundry room in the back or through the hallway here. It needs a new surround, pretty much falling apart, mold and whatnot. Give you the best look I can of it. So tub's definitely going to need replaced. Definitely some mildew going on in here. And then nice, if you're out working in the garage, at least you can come in, use the restroom here, wash your hands, whatnot. Give you a the other look where we came from. And here's that door we came in. So the vinyl, you know, it's kind of coming up at the seams. You do have a, looks like maybe acid or something was dropped on there. It looks like it's burned through there. That's the laundry room. And it's coming up there. It's kind of hard to see with the darkness, but the surround here is rotten off. All right, let's go into our first bedroom. Um, you got a closet out here in the hallway, sorry. Don't want you to miss that. So the first bedroom and probably, eh, they're about equal in size actually, these two are. So you've got a closet here. The vinyl window in this room, as you can kind of see, no overhead lighting, smooth ceilings in this room though. The biggest of the bedrooms are over there. We'll go in there last. We've got bedroom number two. Also vinyl window. There's two in this room. A little bigger of a closet in this one. You've kind of got two of them. The overhead lights are not in this room either. You do have a plug-in light that they've added that plugs in actually to what they've switched out from a light switch. And then go into the third bedroom. So there could be a hall closet here. It's missing a door. Going into the third bedroom. And this has got that double closet like the other room. Get a little more light. So this overlooks the backyard. Looks like they had a window air conditioner in this room. That's going to conclude the tour of this home. If you have any questions, would like to schedule a tour, want to know the status on if it's been cleaned out, if it's up for sale, please give my office a call. One of our agents would love to help you with the purchase of this or any other home in the area. Thank you for viewing and have a great day.